Next is a conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on April 1st, 1977, in Bombay, India. So, in your answer to um, his question, do you consider the message of Jesus Christ to be universal? You say yes. Yeah. As he says, thou shalt not kill. Yeah. But none of them are fallen. Yeah. I'm bullish. I'm going on in the name of Christian. Hmm. And he says he's he lived in our temples, but he's not satisfied with the Christian faith, but he's finding a great deal of satisfaction now living in our temples. The pastor will become Christian. <laughs> that you are following all the things come on. Judge not others, lest you be judged. The second question is, considering that the Bible describes Jesus as the Savior of the people of God, not only of Israel, but of every man saved of sins, does it not minimize his actual position to say that he is simply an avatar? And does it not contradict the teachings of the Bible that he is the... First of all, he says, isn't that minimizing him to say that he's an avatar? We accept him as avatar, as empowered incarnation of God. That will happen. So it's like any other revealed scripture, the Bible's teachings are absolute, but are they to be understood literally or symbolically? And are they applicable for all men? Literally, not symbolically. He says, what's the actual meaning? of the sacrifice of the cross, Jesus dying on the cross. There is no meaning. The people were so rascal that they attempted to kill him. Because he was speaking of God. Hmm. So we can understand the position of this DJ and society, how intelligent they are. We have to deal with such rascals. When you're speaking about God and the result is they, they want you to kill him. First. He preached thou shalt not kill, and they kill him first. He says, did Jesus die on the cross to redeem all the sins of the world? This is another sinful talk. Jesus has taken contract for redeeming your sinful entry. That's a plea, that's a, what is called, plea for the sinners. They will continue acting sinfully and Christ will take contract to counteract. The most sinful conviction. This 
process of stopping sinful activity, we have given contact to Jesus Christ, Godhead. These people are not actually getting freed of any sins. Huh? These people are not actually getting free of their sins unless they stop sinning. That what is the news of his preaching? Hmm. They will continue with sinful activities. Jesus Christ will take on fire. Say How nonsense I hear. Do you think it is good idea? Not a good idea. It's nonsense, rascals. These people should be immediately hanged. Our religion is very good. What is that? We cannot stop acting sinfully. And Christ has taken he said, How does this? I am chanting Hare Krishna. So no sin to lack. That means I will continue my sinful activities and become a Christian, become a Krishna, become a Chanta. Nama See where I am answering correctly. Oh, you're innocent. You're right. <laughs> but they, what I'm reading, you know, he he's giving he gives a lot of quotations from the Bible, so I can I'll just read the two of them, and I, it's very easy to. What do you mean? Giving the quotation? We have Bob Parker. You know, I just the only point I was going to bring out was that it's clear how they misread the Bible. Mm-hmm. Just like one of them says, uh, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life." But you point out that to believe means to follow His teachings, and that they don't understand. They say we believe in Jesus, but but they don't follow his teachings. Where is this belief? Where is the question of belief? Right. As I have skipped to follow the teachings, there is no question of belief. It is bogus. Yeah, so. His next question is. The essence of Christian, Christianism is to believe that Christ is our Savior and Redeemer, but the final test of one's faith in Christ rests upon one's hope that He will come back down to earth from heaven to establish His glory and His realm of justice forever. Is, is this second advent of His to be taken as a symbolic one, or will He actually come back? I do not know what this is. What does he say? This man. What does he say? Yeah. Uh, uh, he he quotes. Uh, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. In other words, and shall he send his there's so many statements in the Bible to allude that Christ will come again. Where is the arm? Thank mm-hmm. you. 
fact, that's the whole basis of the Christian's faith, is they're waiting for that day when but Christ will come. Thing you follow what he has said. Rather than he's good, you know, waiting for him. <laughs> yeah, if you don't follow what he said, then even if he comes, he won't take you. He says, if that happens, if Christ comes back, what will be the position of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his Krishna Kana's movement? That we shall see when he comes. <laughs> that we shall see when he comes. <laughs> right. For the time being, the Krishna Kana's movement is here. Next question. What is this what he here's his question. What is the what is this end of the world? Then he says, in your and everything material. Your body is there. It is being maintained and it is finished. Even the whole world body will be done the same way. There is no other way. It is created, it is maintained. Not. This is not. It's not seen. What is that? N A S S? NAS? N A S S. No, N A S. N A S. Means? NAS means Jubatu. Finish. Apo Khaya. It says, in your introduction to Bhagavad Gita, you refer to Hinduism. Buddhism, Christianism, and other religions faith as sectarian designations. But isn't Krishna Khanas just another kind of designation in order not to call it Krishnaism, another ism? No. That we have to understand later on. What is the difference between a pure Christian, or at least a sincere one, and a sincere devotee of Krishna? No difference. Says he read a passage of the Bhavishya Mahapurana written by Vyasadeva 3,000 years before Christ, foretelling Jesus Christ's presence in the Himalayas in 78 of the Christian era and his meeting with King Shalabhai. Are there any other prophecies in the Bhavishya Mahapurana or in any other scriptures telling more accurately Jesus Christ's birthday? Everything is accurate. Everything is accurate. Yeah. In that particular Purana? Says he was he's sorry to take your very precious time and he craved that you answer all of his questions which you've done. He thanks you very much for reading this letter and for your expected help.
is he asked one last question in the PS, which I think is practically practically an important question. He says, to practically follow Jesus Christ, your sincere search of the truth, who does not recognize and accept the external manifestations of the Krishna Karnas movement, is it possible to attain love of God? No. Love of God means God's mercy. God is pleased because you have me. So that pleasure of God can be everything we love. This is called in Sanskrit, Vipasi, perfection out of that. Affection. Now come mercy. 